Hi friends, this is Mohammed Jibran and welcome to our C++ tutorials. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a program using multiple uh, mul uh, multiple inheritance. So in the last video, I've shown you how the single inheritance works. So now let us go and see how the multiple inheritance works. So in multiple inheritance, what we have is two base classes deriving one single derived class. In such uh, cases, we call this thing as multiple inheritance. The class C will have its own member functions and member variables, and it will also contain the member functions and the member variables of class A as well as the class B. So, using one class that is class C, you can access both of the classes members uh, and A and B. So, let us write a program to see how it works now let's change the name of our uh, this class to base class underscore a this will be our base class a that is this one and uh, we'll have another class it is also base class underscore b this will be our second base class will be base class B and class derived C ok this will be our derived class C this one ok this one is going to use everything that is written in A and B but we will do that in just a minute ok we are going to write a program which will take the input from the user and it will write the marks of the student and it will display them ok so let me give some explanation of about our program how it will work Oops. ok this program will take students roll number to sub to subjects marks it will take these two things and uh, it will take the ok will take the sports marks also then what we'll do we'll add them and uh, display them ok so our program is going to do something some things like this it will take the roll numbers this will be our first point roll number two subject marks will take the sports marks in second class and uh, then in our third class that is our derived class will add them and uh, will display them ok so this is how your program will work this is the blueprint of your program now let's make a program which does all this stuff so uh, first we'll begin with our uh, base class A in this class we'll uh, say public you can directly make them public and we'll declare some integer as roll number then we'll take m1 as max1 m2 for max2 then we'll create a function saying void get ok this will get the max from the user ok and in this function we'll tell them to enter the roll number ok here we will take the roll number of the student and we will store it in rno that is our roll number then we will take the marks like enter the first subject marks ok we will take that in 
and store it in M1. Okay, then we'll print again. Enter the second subject marks. Okay, again we'll take that in and we'll save it in M2. Okay, this is how we took the roll number and the marks of the student. Uh, instead of making two statements over here for the marks we can do it like this also enter the two subject marks and here you do m1 then m2 so what your program will do the first number which the user type will be getting saved in m1 and the second number after the enter is pressed will be saved in m2 okay so this is how you got your uh, two values now we'll go to our uh, next class class b and in that we'll take the marks of the sports okay we'll define one integer say sports marks okay then we'll get the get sports marks okay we we'll create this function whose uh, return type would be again void okay sorry here it should be void okay now in get some what we'll do we'll display enter the sports marks okay now we'll save that in fm that's our sports marks so this ends your second class that's second base class that is class B now go and um, write our derived class C now this is important I'll give this operator and then you have to specify which class do you want to inherit it inherit will inherit our base class underscore a comma public base class underscore b so what are we doing we are uh, saying that the base class a will be public to our derived class c and the base class b will also be public to our derived class c so in our uh, derived class we'll do something like again public then we'll display two variables as total and uh, average let's take the average also okay then we'll create a function display this function will display the students result okay we'll be getting total will be equal to m1 plus m2 plus sm that's our sports marks. what we are doing we are adding all the three subjects okay this is how you get the total so then we'll get the average of it how total by 3 this is how you get your average then we'll display that uh, rule number will be rn okay then uh, we'll display its oops this one okay then we'll display its uh, marks we'll directly display the total we'll say total is you can display your uh, its different marks differently if you want but I'll not do that marks is total then uh, I'll go add another line session I'll say the, the uh, average is ABG okay so this is how you wrote your uh, derived class and now in your main function you are going to create an object 
with your derived class C D E R I derived underscore C using derived class C you will create an object say OBJ okay now you just call object dot get uh, I guess get was the name of our first function right a function right let's get first we'll get the subject name okay then we'll call obj dot get sm here we'll get the sport marks then obj dot display here we'll display the marks using this thing now we'll end the program like this now let's run it see your program runs fine the so roll number suppose it's 65 the two subject marks will be suppose uh, 12 and uh, 13 okay inter sports marks will be 10 okay the roll number is 65 total is 35 the average is 11 so 12 plus 13 plus 10 is 35 and the average is 12 35 by 3 is 11 11 point something since we are giving an integer it will give you this thing or if you want a perfect answer then what you do you one thing over here you do you get it down you make it float average okay then when it will get displayed we will get the accurate value again we will give the same values suppose the roll number is 65 marks is 12 13 sport marks say 10 average is again 10 here Okay, so this is how your uh, program should uh, work. So this was brief regarding your program, which is which uses multiple inheritance. Uh, let me give you a recall of whatever we did. We created two classes A and B. Then using the properties of A and B, we displayed the result of the students and we calculated the total and the average in the class C how we did in A class using the function get we got the roll number and the two subject marks of the students then we closed that class see we and that ended the class then in the second class base class B we created another function which gets the uh, sports marks of the student and then we stored that in SM so the values are in uh, roll number m1 and m2 and sm these four variables has our values but in derived class c we are using the same values m1 m2 and sm okay these three values and uh, roll number also we are using and we are displaying it in a totally different class but as this class is uh, inherited from a and b so we can use the properties of a and B so that's why we were able to display out the roll number the total and the average of the student using a uh, class C so hope you understood the program and thanks for watching the video